Okay, I want to wrap this C onto the sphere. Now I can use KO point fit, but that makes the mesh stretched. So I want to use dynamics. So I'll just, on the sphere here, I'll set that to collision. You leave it to default, and for the C cloth, and always remember to add gravity here unless you have it somewhere else. And collision. Uh, this is just the offset of the almost like offset of the polygons really. Do not mix collision offset and resolution. And let's try that. And it didn't work because the spring is too high. That's better. Um, 52. Let's calculate over again. Looks better, but still. It doesn't stick to the object, so I'll go back to the sphere collision and say fixed power 50. Calculate, and now it sort of like sticks or glues to the object. Well, it's pretty much that's pretty much what I want, so I can just stop the calculation here. I'll hold down control and uh, switch to the C. And I'll say save object, save transform object, and we'll call this C transform. All right. Um, okay, let's go to new layer and say load object into layer. And here we are. This is the cloth transformed object and this is the the um, KO point fit so you can see the difference um, so the idea here now is to just go to the top view here and use the original C and uh, well just scale it like this or something point radial okay this one on a drag tool This is just a fast, dirty way of doing it, really. And, um, that's pretty much what it looks like. So let's say um, go here again, and this was the original, and this is the new one. And we'll say use the KO point fit over again. So now we have more or less what it should look like. Oops. 
let's just copy this into So you can see the difference. This is point fit and this is the cloth. So I guess that's more, more of a correct way of doing it. 